I'm here with Kelly Howard, the Executive Director of Student Health Services here at OSU. Hi, Kelly. Hello. Good Happy afternoon. damn proud day to Happy you. Happy damn proud day. <laughs> okay, can you tell us about a couple of really specific programs? I know Student Health Services encompasses a lot of different services to the people who are enrolled here at OSU. Yeah. But we're here today to talk about CAPE and collegiate recovery. Let's start off by talking about this program, CAPE. What does C-A-P-E stand for? Yeah, that is our Center for Advocacy, Prevention, and Education. Um, it is our teams that do advocacy for survivors of sexual assault on campus and also our prevention team um, mm. around gender-based violence within that it's all one team. Okay. Yeah. And so this is, who, are these advocates coming from outside of OSU's community or are they being no, trained up from there within? No, there are staff here in the in the SEC building right next to us. Wow. That is our office. Yep. So a donation to CAPE uh, this damn proud day will allow for what new opportunities? Yeah. So actually the, the funds that we are raising go directly to survivors. Um, mm. the, the way we use the funds is for emergency housing for su survivors that are in a bad situation and need to get out quickly mm -hmm. um, for safety devices that they may need in their homes mm -hmm. um, to cover costs for groceries or having to leave wherever they are immediately um, to get to a safer place so it it's a very um, empowering fundraiser for us because it really does go directly to students in need. That's great. Um, I yeah. teach here in the university, and I know one thing that's very, very helpful and, and I think enriching to students is when they are in a time of crisis, to be able to say to them, there is a place where you can go where you will not just get uh, support, mm -hmm. you will get solutions. Yep. We will think about what your specific needs are at this time and we will provide you with concrete solutions mm -hmm. that you can walk out of. And I think that's such a, a valuable thing for a college campus to have yeah. and to develop further as yeah. far as it can go. Yeah, the, the advocates do a great job of working with students to figure out what their needs are mm -hmm. in this time, not what we think they need. Mm -hmm. um, and so it can look really different for each survivor coming in our office. Mm -hmm. um, and they do an incredible job uh, working with, with students. How big is this team of advocates? Um, it is a team of four advocates, including our director, Allison Risser. Um, and they are so busy, um, mm -hmm. which you could look at as as a really hard, sad thing, um, but I choose to look at it as we're here and we're able to make a difference mm -hmm. for those students um, and the things that they're going through. And so asking for help is never a bad thing. Never a bad thing. So nope. it's a good. It's always it's a, a good, good thing, thing to do. Yep. Okay, let's pivot to this other program, Collegiate Recovery, also offered yeah. by Student Health Services. What can you tell me about that? Yeah, so um, we have a Collegiate Recovery Program, and that encompasses um, a fund uh, that we have used for scholarship as well as program needs um, hmm. for students in recovery. So students that have dealt with addiction and are in recovery, um, the fundraising again today is going directly to those students to help them cover the costs of their education, um, help support them with housing, mm -hmm. uh, help support them in their growth as a student here in recovery. So it sounds like that's also got to be really personalized too. Yes. You need the resources to be able to meet people where yeah. they are and support them at this sometimes quite vulnerable part of their journey. While they're also going to school. Yes, <laughs> so exactly. <laughs> this is, it's so enriching and, and, and it makes me feel good. It's very inspiring to know that this kind of support is available for the students here at Oregon State that mm -hmm. I love teaching and I want to support in as best way possible. So thank you so much for yeah. telling us about this and what a great opportunity to support Student Health Services through Damn Proud Day. Kelly, it was so nice to talk thank to you. Thank you very much. Go Beavs. Go Beavs.